morning everybody it's saturday morning it's early saturday morning and it's storming outside and i'm back today with another video hope you guys are well and today um i'm gonna start a two-part series talking about mental health um it was mental health awareness day one day last week so i thought it was important that we give some attention to that in light of everything that's happening in the world um, mental health is a really big issue and it affects everyone on some level whether you are a victim to mental health or codependent to someone else that has mental health challenges so if you're interested in this video please keep watching hello everybody welcome back to the channel it's probably about 7 15 this morning it looks a little darker than what it is because we are now in the throes of the band of storms coming from Hurricane Delta. Memphis gets all of the rain from the storms that, the hurricanes and storms that hit the Gulf Coast. So we're in the middle of that and I think it's supposed to rain all day. So probably gonna be in all day today. So today I will probably be doing several videos on my channel. So if you have time, please make sure you check out the videos here on Life, Lydia's Life TV as well as Sub Love TV jump over to my podcast because I'm going to do a podcast uh, later on today. But I did want to talk a little bit about mental illness and let me say up front that I'm not a doctor or any of those things. So I'm not uh, trying to give any diagnosis or cures to mental illness rather than um, just giving out encouragement to those who may be subjected to it, whether or not you're actually in a mental illness crisis or you are um, victim to someone, codependent rather I should say, to someone who deals with mental illness. Now before I get into that, I guess it's important to understand what mental illness is because a lot of times people feel like that it means that you are simply out of your mind which there are 28 disorders that fall up under the category of mental illness. So it could be a array of things. And we're not gonna delve into 28 disorders, but just to get a general idea of what mental illness is, I'm gonna give you the textbook definition of what mental illness is. Okay, I'm gonna briefly look to my right, your left, because um, I have my computer screen up here to give you the textbook. It says mental illness is a health condition involving changes in emotions, thinking, or behavior, or a combination of these. Mental illness are associated with distress and or problems functioning in social work, family, or activities. So just briefly understanding that it doesn't mean that you are totally off your rocker, which, but it could mean that. But it also could be just challenges from day to day dealing with uh, social or work environments or just battling the stresses of life. So I think at some point in our life, we all have gone through a point where we were dealing with some mental health challenges, whether we were doing it on a level of stress or anxiety. So with the challenges that we are currently in the state of the world and the things that are happening a lot more people are finding themselves dealing with mental health challenges and they're seeking out ways to deal with that now trauma certainly is one that can trigger you into a episode of mental health challenges i recently have gone through that being victim of a robbery an armed robbery so that actually did spiral me into an area of my life that I didn't think I would be into and that was heightened uh, bouts with anxiety and stress. So if you're dealing with stress on a level where you're not able to get control of it, uh, changing your eating habits, your diet, uh, your fitness level, uh, meditation, or you know things that you try to practice to get yourself to a level where you're feeling calm and peaceful, then certainly you may be in a crisis that you need to seek out some professional help, whether you're talking to a mental health uh, a professional or holistic professional or even a spiritual professional. So it's important that we understand that. And going through 
the state of the world right now, not knowing whether we're going to get to a level where we can live in a regular state of living or we're going to be in this heightened awareness of um, our health and dealing with all of the social and economical um, impacts that we're dealing with because of that certainly can put us in a way, a state of mind where we're struggling. Now, I come from a background of mental health uh, challenges because I come from a very heavily domestic abuse background. So that in itself uh, posed challenges for me growing up. It put me in a, in a way in my mind to not trust a lot of people, especially men, uh, as I was growing up because I knew that I was not going to become victim to being um, a person that was victim to domestic violence. It was just not in my mind that that would be something that this woman would have to grow up with it. Seeing it on a level from my mom to losing my oldest sister to domestic violence was um, enough for me to know that that was some, something that I would want to deal with. And I'm actually going to do a video at some point on domestic violence, violence, which I did several years ago, probably like 2013 maybe. I was um, starting my YouTube channel and that was something that I did talk on. I am um, an advocate and support different organizations that deal with that. So one day I will deal with that, but I'm not actually going to talk about that today. Um, but because of those challenges that I dealt with going through that, it definitely affected me on a, in an area of my mind where I was um, depressed and stressed out because of what I saw growing up. So definitely that has put me in the area that uh, I battle on and off with, um, with de you know, depression because I never was able to see my mom get to a level where she was happy because of that because that was something I felt responsible for. I felt like I should in some way try to help my mother find peace and find happiness. And now that she's at, in her senior years and I feel that because of where she is mentally, it was de definitely impacted by her life. And I have often felt that I should have done something about it. So I go in and out of my ways of that. But there are people who have to live with that on a day-to-day -day basis and they're battling it. You know, people are victim to uh, trauma. They deal with PSTD, PTSD. I always get that mixed up. And trauma is a direct impact to that. So I would encourage you guys that if you see people who have changes in their emotional behavior, and you know, people that are normally vibrant and active, and you see them go into this withdrawal um, sensation where they're pulling away from everybody, their family members, their friends, they're not active the way that they used to be. They're not involving themselves in things that they normally would do, um, smiling and being happy. Definitely you might want to talk with them. If you find yourself in that state where you're, you're feeling like all you want to do is rest, Fatigue is another sign of it. Heightened um, levels of fatigue where you're always tired. You're always feeling anxious. Uh, you're always wanting to sleep. Your eating habits have changed. Um, you're not wanting to eat or you're overeating. Definitely could be affected by uh, challenges with your mental health. And with this mental health awareness day and month, um, we're challenging people to be aware of that and to um, pay more closer attention to people in your life as well as yourself if you feel these changes in your life. Now definitely your hormones as you reach that level and that age of the imbalance of hormones due to the change of life uh, with women can definitely have an impact on your mental health because um, different you know, level ups and down levels of hormones can definitely impact you on a mental level because it does increase um, the, the ability for you to be stressed out and to be challenged with um, uh, depression. So you, it's important to, to be aware when you feel those things happening and to try to seek out help and do something about it. But I'm also challenging people who have family members and you see them go down that 
that rabbit hole. Um, don't sit by idly and just watch it. You know, go talk with them. Um, call people to see what you can do to encourage them to seek out help or to talk to somebody. You know, sometimes it's easier to talk to people that you don't know versus the loved ones that you have in your life because you don't want them to worry about you. You don't want them to be, um, you know, afraid that you're going to hurt yourself or afraid that you're ill. So sometimes we will not talk to the people that's closest to us due to that fact. You know, I have always been a very private person and, I, and you know, sometimes I don't um, go to my family and tell them things that I'm battling or dealing with because I don't want them to worry and because they have always looked at me as that person in the family that mediates everything. So for the mediator to fall prey to some type of emotional imbalance or a mental imbalance or even a physical imbalance, whether you're sick or something, oh my God, the family's falling apart. So oftentimes I deal with things. And in the era that I grew up in, in the late 70s and 80s, um, it was a woman, a black woman especially, was supposed to be strong. We didn't have a room to be sick. <laughs> we didn't have room to deal with our own depression because we had families we were raising. A lot of us were raising children in a single parent family. So we had to get, get over it. <laughs> I've been told that to get over whatever I'm dealing with. And definitely we didn't have time for a mental breakdown. So a lot of us are now in our 40s and 50s and we're dealing with the uh, fallout of the things that we did not pay attention to in our 20s and our 30s and in even early 40s. So now that we have gotten to this level where our lives are balancing and coming to a level of peace, we're finding ourselves being challenged with dealing with that heartbreak or that depression that we were in when we were going through um, that domestic violence or um, you know, whatever it was that you went through, the physical violence or, you know, verbal abuse or just not loving ourselves. So we're going through this challenge now of how do I get past this thing? A lot of us are sitting and not really knowing what to do. And it certainly is important for you to realize that it is normal to deal with this because millions of Americans and, and people as a whole all over the world are dealing with this. And as I ran before the video, you see how many people in the world deal with mental health challenges so it's certainly very normal and that you shouldn't be ashamed of it and if you have something that's going on in your life it's certainly okay to want to seek out help and talk to somebody so that's why I'm here today is just to encourage you that don't be afraid to talk to someone if you have a close friend certainly go to them and say look I'm dealing with some things and I don't know how to to fix this I don't know what avenue I need to go down to certainly um find help in talking through the things that I'm going through, or if you have a significant other, a man or a woman in your life, whether it's your husband or just your, your boo thing, you know, certainly it's okay to talk to them if you feel comfortable. And sometimes we feel comfortable talking to strangers. So it's certainly okay to go and seek out a professional in any of those areas, you know, whether it's on a medical or holistic level or spiritual level, it's definitely okay to go find someone that you feel comfortable sharing some of the important things and deep, dark secrets of your life that you are holding sacred and not want to share with people because you're afraid that people may judge you. It's certainly okay to do that talk to someone but not to try to deal with this alone know that it's help and in these challenging environment that we're in and um, learning how to navigate just everything that we're seeing right now in the world it is definitely a time that we may be finding ourselves breaking down and we definitely need to stay aware of everything that's going on in the world around us because I think we're going to need our strongest minds going into 2021. We're going to need every ounce of strength that we can muster to be strong mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually going into 2021. So I just wanted to come on today to start the conversation about mental health. I hope that this will get you to think about it. In the next video, we'll talk about a couple areas of mental health that is commonly affected by people and uh, not so much uh, people who are dealing with, you know, really 
uh, like the schizophrenia, different things like that, but just the things that we battle due to everyday living. We'll talk about that a little bit more in the next video. So I hope this was helpful to get you aware and to get you thinking about what you may be experiencing in or people in your life to get to talking about these things. So thank you for tuning in today. I hope that your day will be better than mine. It is crazy storming. It's like 7.30 now. I'm going to go get me some coffee to start my morning, but certainly I wanted to come in this morning to get the conversation started. So thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, I want to thank you for stopping through. I hope that you will find something here that will encourage you, that will make you feel comfortable sharing your experiences, being a part of the family. Also, uh, that will entertain you. Uh, encourage you to keep living this life to understand about the challenges that we go through as women and to share that with other women to keep us encouraged and for all of the returning subscribers followers fans exclusive members i love you so much and thank you for your support on this channel challenge this channel 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 <laughs> so thank you for tuning in today and i will look forward to seeing you in a later video remember always i love you love, kisses, and hugs, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.